In this episode, let's have a look at how you can use Adobe Audition to fix clipping distortion if it's relatively mild. If you just have a few of them throughout your audio track, you can actually reconstruct those. Let's have a look. Sometimes when you make a recording and you, for whatever reason, maybe weren't paying attention, were busy operating the camera, whatever it may be, you may end up with a little bit of clipping in your audio. And audio clipping is when it's recorded so loud that the digital system is not able to actually record all the information and you get some distortion. It sounds something like this. Now, before I play this, be warned, if your volume is turned way up, you may want to turn it down just a touch. So here it goes. I have had another people hear that harshness on the on that at the, at the peak there. Here's another example. Three claps just so again, some of that kind of harshness. Now, this thing that I'm going to show you here in Adobe Audition works if you have a few instances of clipping, like what I'm showing you here in this particular waveform. It doesn't work if everything is clipped or nearly everything is clipped very well, at least in my experience. So that's if you're in that kind of situation, you probably need to reshoot. <laughs> uh, but if you have just a few instances like this, you can probably pull something off and it's definitely worth a try. So let's give you an example here. To First of all, I need to go up to the effects menu to diagnostics and choose declipper. That opens up this pane down here. We uh, make sure that, shoot, that uh, declipper is selected. And then we have three preset options. We have restore heavily clipped, lightly clipped, and restore normal. In this particular case, I'm gonna go with lightly clipped and then let me show you what those do here. And we're gonna do that by opening up the settings here. If you change these setting, these presets here, you'll notice that this gain setting changes. So for example, heavily clipped, it cranks it all the way down to minus 12. And what this gain setting does is it actually specifies the amount of gain applied to the signal before processing. What that means is it's gonna pull it down by 12 dB before it even tries to reconstruct the clipped area. And in fact, that's what it's doing. It's actually reconstructing that waveform that got clipped off. So uh, we don't need heavily clipped in this case, I don't think. Let's try lightly clipped. You'll have to experiment around. There's also a normal setting. If you set it to normal, it doesn't actually do any uh, gain reduction before it starts to reconstruct the clip. But in this case, again, I think we're going to do lightly clipped. The tolerance and min clip size. Uh, the tolerance is by default set to one. One is the most sensitive. That is to say, this is the amount of amplitude variation or the amount of change in dB that's allowed before something is considered a clip by, by this little tool here. So normally I leave that at 1% and then min clip size, this is saying this is the minimum setting as well. It only needs three samples to be clipped before it considers that a clipped uh, region of your audio. So. The next setting here is interpolation. According to Adobe's documentation, cubic is faster, but not necessarily as effective. And FFT or fast Fourier transform is more CPU intensive, so a little bit slower potentially, but it is probably more effective in more cases. So let's go ahead and use the FFT. Most quad core processors should be able to handle this without a problem. So once we've done that, let's go ahead and click this scan button. The tool will scan through, and then down here, we'll click on settings to collapse that. It shows us all this, the cases in our audio sample here where we have clips, quite a few. So <laughs> let's go ahead and click Repair All, and let's see what happens. Now, at first, you can see it reduced the waveforms here in amplitude, so it got a, a little bit quieter. And it seems to have maybe taken care of this one okay, but this these still look clipped. However, it's a little bit of a trick. If we take this and we pull down our amplitude even more, you'll notice, oops, even more, it actually reconstructed those waveforms, so they're no longer clipped. Let's listen really quickly and see what they sound like now. I have had another people Okay, a lot, definitely better. It's not as distorted for sure. It does still have a little bit of an edge to it, but probably, probably workable. I have had another people. Let's listen to this one, which also sounded clipped. Three claps, just really, really. That one actually sounds quite good. So that's an example of what Adobe Audition's declipper tool can do if you have audio where you have a few clips here and there. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for checking out this episode. If you hadn't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great weekly episodes on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.